cold outside But the fire keeps us warm We can't spend the night Underneath the mistletoe And I've gotten you a present That I put under the tree Tomorrow it is Christmas The first for you and me The snow is falling down What's up, family? So I'm gonna give y'all a sneak peek. This is downstairs in my basement. My husband got his tank up. My husband and my son have their tank up. Um, this part where you're seeing the pipes and all of that stuff, that's gonna be covered. You won't see that. They're gonna build something right there to cover that so you won't see it. And this little edge here will be painted so it won't look like that. And he's working on the doors now for the front of it. And he has a canopy for it as well. So this is about 300 gallons, I believe, um, salt water tank right here. I'll show you this angle. And then in this little closet here, he made this his utility closet for the tank. And he did all this himself. Um, he cut the holes, he, everything, all the piping, all of that together. Um, this water container right here, this is a 35 gallon container um, that we got from, I believe, Tractor Supply. And it was $179, so $180. Um, you can use one of these for your own water to, you know, store your own water when you want to store more than just the bottled water. So we have one of those, but this is just for his tank. So we will be getting another one just like it and a couple of barrels as well to store more water for, you know, the family and the things we need to do. So I just wanted to show you all that. And then this is this little filter system that he had set up back here. So yeah, he, he don't do them little baby tanks. He he got to, he got to have a big boy, a grown man tank, I guess. I don't know. So this is how far I've gotten in this area, which is not really any. The only thing I did today so far is, oh shoot. And what was slowing me up, What was slowing me up was, you know, I wanted to do that giveaway. So that kind of took me from doing what I needed to do in here. This bin right here, I'm creating a bin with items that either I'm not going to use or whatever. And it'll go to a food bank. Um, I still got some spaces over here I'm about to fill in with some canned goods. I've been putting the expiration date, well, best buy date on the canned goods, the boxes and all of that stuff. I decided today that what I'm going to end up doing is with that cereal and some other items like the pancake mix and stuff, I'm going to vacuum seal those. I don't have Mylar bags or any, yeah, I don't have Mylar bags. So I'm going to vacuum seal them with that. I don't have the oxygen absorbers, I meant to say, to go in any of them, but I think they'll be okay. Um, that would just make it last longer than the Best Buy date, but they last longer than the Best Buy date anyway. So that's what I'm going to do just to create more space, but I'm not worrying about doing it at the moment. Right now, what the plan is, is to get as many of these items onto the vacant spaces I have here. The rest of it, I'm gonna pack back up into bins and place them in a separate room because he just needs to be able to get in here and start building my um, shelves. So on this wall here where I have no shelves, there will be like a counter and it'll be shelves up above, uh, high up here on the wall. And then it'll be 
like cabinets below the uh, desk area. That way that'll allow me to have my, um, anything that I want to use as far as my vacuum sealer or keep my, um, my jars, my canning jars and pressure can and all that stuff. I can keep that stuff down here and get it out of my kitchen. It's just taking up space and just pull it out when I need it. Um, have a way to protect your family as well as your preps. Um, whether it's putting in extra security lights around your house, um, have them on a timer or whatever, um, security system, cameras. Um, if you decide to do weapons, make sure that you take uh, some classes or some kind of training on it. Just don't go out and purchase something and then you don't know how to use it. And when you need to use it, you may find it, it might get used on you. So do that. Um, all those can goods down there are probably going to end up in that bin because all of these things, I'm going to probably end up putting them on the vacant areas over here. And then you see these right here. I threw these in here out the way from the other room. But if you don't know what these is, well, these is, if you don't know what these are, now you see what I'm saying? They're empty because we keep our things locked away. But you need to be as prepared as you can be. And it's another one up under that green one. So be as prepared as you can because you just don't know when someone is going to decide today is the day I want what you have and I'm going to try to take what you have. Or they've been watching you um, come in and out of your house and seeing what you carry in your home. Um, so just be safe and be mindful and protect your family and protect your preps. Most people say protect your preps, protect your preps, protect your family, and protect your preps. Okay, so let me get busy. I'm going to turn this camera on, and it's going to go in fast mode, I guess. Okay, y'all, so I pretty much got done everything I needed to get done. I don't have all of my food up. I did have to store them in bins. Um, the ones I couldn't fit on there. Sorry for how I look, but I just worked out at 11 today and came straight down here. So this is a 20 pound bag of rice. Um, I try to keep the same brand. Like I have it labeled on my thing. I cut this bag off with the label on it and I have it glued on here. I got that idea from Peggy, from Peggy and Don's channel. Um, shout out to them. And I haven't had to fill this in months because I don't eat a lot of rice anymore. Unless, you know, somebody wants me to make like a stir fry or something like that. So I have my rice in here and it came to right here. So I still have room to put a little more in here, but I'm not. I'm gonna take a couple of these bay leaves right here and, and just drop some in there. I already had some in there, I forgot to tell you that. So I have some at the bottom, some in the middle. Okay, so I got some of those in there. Then the rest of these bay leaves out this little container, I'm just gonna put one in each corner and hopefully that'll help keep the bugs away if there are ever any in here. I haven't had an issue with that. And then I'll just put the lid back on. And I, I put, when I did this was um, January 13, 2021 was when I originally started this container. And so now I'm about to put another sticker on here because I just added more rice to it. So that way I'll know when I add that rice to it. So let me give you a quick look. Let me give you a quick look at what I did. 
Okay, because I'm almost, my battery's about to die, I'm gonna try to go through this really, really fast. Um, nothing is really, some things are kind of together and some things aren't. At the end, I just started putting items on there. But once I get my permanent shelves in, these are not my permanent shelves if you're new to my channel. But these are what I'm using until I get them built. Um, so I had to clear the room out so that my husband will be able to get in here. Over here, I'm about to put a table just for now. Um, that way, if I want to do a live in here, I can. So up top is where I have my paper goods, my paper towels. I have another bag. It's in my garage. I haven't brought it down here yet. And then I have the palms, tissues. I have another one upstairs also. So I have three of those. And then I got some right there on top. Then I got some more bathroom tissue right here. Below here is like the pastas, the noodles and stuff like that. Egg noodles, ramen, spaghetti, elbow, panini, whatever you name it is in there, hopefully, um, that they can make a choice for what they want to get. I have everything labeled with the Best Buy dates on it. So, uh, third row. I have some sauces. So this allows me to now, because what I couldn't do is I couldn't come in and see exactly what I needed to fill in. I don't particularly need to do a huge grocery haul, but I will be doing fill-ins and I will take y'all along with me when I do that. That way I can come in here, make a list and pick out maybe five, six items that I need to fill in at a time once a week. That way, hopefully I can get it done. Um, like I'm running low on these Italian dressings. I only have one of that uh, red hot chili sauce back there and my family absolutely loves it. I try to buy that <laughs> in bulk if I could. Um, oh, I have one right here. It's in the wrong spot. So now I have two. It just makes it so much more convenient um, than, you know, hot sauce ketchup. I'm down to one bottle of ketchup because my, my youngest child loves ketchup and they keep coming out here getting it. So I know I got to fill up on that. I got tomato sauce, diced tomatoes, crushed tomatoes, spaghetti noodles, beefaroni, then all these mushrooms right here. So about four rows of this right here. And I have more refried beans, but I didn't put them all out. Salsa right here, salsa packets, some more salsa back there. Then over here, I have my generic um, spaghetti sauce. I told you how I do that. Sometimes I buy ragu if I can find it on sale, but if I can't, I get this right here. And then I just chop up some fresh vegetables in it, but finding fresh vegetables is becoming harder and harder to do. So you need to start growing your own food, you guys. So over here, we have the white vinegar. I need to get some more of that because I will be canning some more. Oh, I forgot that I had the beanie wings up here, the yellow rice right there. I'm gonna try to slow down with my I'm going fast. I'm going with this thing. These won't stay on the floor. I just put them here for now. They'll get moved if they if they're in my husband's way. So, chicken breast, uh, ten number ten can, the lakeside whole kernel corn, the chicken breast over here as well. Corned beef hash. These are your canned meats, and I don't have them all out. But what I do have out is the corned beef hash, different kinds. The salmon, the chili sauce, um, vegetarian and non-vegetarian ones, beef broth, chicken broth, uh, chicken noodle soup. The rest of my soups I had to put in a bin. Then I have some um, thick, chunky soups over here. These uh, collard greens right here, which seems to be what I'm going to be buying a lot of because finding collard greens now, if you haven't grown your own, you probably will be eating them out the can. Um cream corn, regular corn, green, pe green beans, there's even some in the back, uh, mixed vegetables and everything like that, bulk sausage. I have more of these. They're, they're, they're in a bin somewhere. Red beans, black beans, uh, saltines. These are the lemon pepper. Well, they're different flavors of the tuna packets. And then I threw that up there, but we don't really eat that anymore, so I'm going to donate that to the food bank as well, along with the rest of them. Um... The sardines, I love sardines. I haven't had them in a while, but I'm starting to stop back up on them. Popcorn, I have more popcorn than that. I even have the kernel ones as well. 
then some little bars for me for when I'm not eating and I can just do that. That way I can take my medicine and not get sick. Um, crackers, peanut butter, the little small ones to go. And then all of the bigger ones right here, even the powdered one is in the back. Another thing of uh, crunchy bars back here. Apple sauces, sweet and non-sweet. It's a can of pineapple. Here are the fruits down here. Fruit cocktail, mandarins, and pears. And then, y'all, I love me some cranberry sauce. I won't have to buy that anytime soon. This is what I'm making tonight. Um, I don't know if my youngest child is going to want it, but I like this. I like my own homemade one, but because this expiration is for December 2021, I will be making this tonight, and all I need to do is add water. And then over here, we have some yams in a can, pork and beans, baked beans, some little juices right here at the bottom. of This is the bottom of the third one. If I didn't say, I apologize. So I have all of these uh, Gatorades right here. The paddles work out better for me than just buying the bottles because it takes up so much space. Then I have some whey protein blend vanilla, but I have some strawberry ones upstairs in the working pantry. And then all of these pasta size and nor size right here. What I'm going to do with those things to keep from taking up so much shelf space is I'm going to go buy some buckets. If I can't get them for free, I'm going to buy some of these buckets and I'm going to place these in there and then I'll stack them. That way I won't be taking up shelf space when I do get the regular shelves in. And then I got some freeze dried fruit, strawberry and banana. I got those from Aldi up here. We have some cake mixes. So I have, you know, you need to rotate your food first in, first out, that situation. So this right here, even though I'm not really eating sweets, my husband loves sweets, this I will make this weekend. Um, even though I have, yeah, it's a little bit behind on the date, the Best Buy date, but I'm going to make that this weekend. Hopefully it'll still have some off in it. What I'm going to do is take some of that Hershey's cocoa mix right there, add to it and just, you know, bring it back to life. Then I have my different extracts right here. It's a little pie crust stuff. Um, this is all like my bacon stuff right here. Pancake mix, whatever you want to make with it. I even have the keto one right here. I have my shelf stable I have my shelf staple milk, y'all. This battery is about to give out. Evaporated milk, even the powdered ones up here. I got some ghee, some coconut um, oil, vegetable oil, virgin olive oil, syrup, honey, um, all my seasonings, um, oatmeal flavored and oats regular, and some crusties up there. The cereals are way to the back. Those are all going to get put. Well, I already told you what I'm going to do with them. And then we have our ground allspice baking soda. These are really cheap right here out of Aldi's. And then these right here, the cornstarch and paprika, poultry gravy, some more bay leaves right here, more bay leaves right here, onion powder, oregano, crush, all that stuff is up in here, y'all. So, um, and then down here is just four Patriots stuff I got from the when they sponsored um, a video that I did. So this is some of my preps, not all of my preps. And so now I know I can just come in and make a list and go. So y'all take care. Have a blessed day. I love you, but God truly, truly, truly loves you more. Please love yourself. Go out and spread God's love with distance and I'll see y'all in the next video, okay? Take care. Bye. So like I said, here's the stuff right here that I had to keep in bins. I still have another thing of rice right here. More canned goods. Then over here, more canned goods. Same thing in here. Same thing in these down here as well. And this one right here. But the one at the bottom is the one that I will be donating. Um, I will be donating to the food bank, the one at the bottom.